What is up, boys? Uh, today is the day Rarity Collection 2. I am a little bit late to the party. This came out... Actually, no, you know what? I'm not that late. It came out officially Friday. I think OTS stores had it available Wednesday and today's Saturday. So no, I'm not that late. I'm not that late, guys. But there were reasons why I didn't open this up sooner. I would have opened it up Wednesday, actually, if I had some time. Uh, basically, work, man. Oh, boy. So... Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, and then there's some other news, personal stuff that is kind of, you know, it's pretty good, but, you know, this took some time out, and all that other stuff, but anyways, as promised, guys, the giveaway for the 900 subs, Gandora G, Dragon of Destruction, it's already sealed, man, like, hey, I was not lying, this is ready to ship uh, to the winner of the giveaway, so the giveaway rules are going to be posted somewhere here. I, I'm just tired of listing them over and over again, so I'm just going to make an infographic, save it, copy and paste it in every video that I do giveaways now. If you do qualify, you make sure that you put in your post, I qualify, so I know you read that, you know, the rules or whatever. And you know what, I'll just say them real fast. So you have to be publicly subscribed, you have to like the video, and you have to have an American address as well. And then the fourth thing is the phrase, which usually is very dependent on the video you're watching. For this, we'll just say 900 achieved will be the phrase, and I'll put it right here so you guys know how to spell it. But yeah, make sure you guys do qualify. If you if you do qualify and you want to do the giveaway, then do the uh, phrase as well. So in, in your post, say, I qualify, and then the phrase, if you want to enter the giveaway, in short. Anyways, let's go ahead and open up this Rarity Collection too. Actually, you know what? Before that, thanks. By the way, thanks, guys. You know, like, the 900 subs is pretty, pretty big, and we're so close to 1,000. Like, we... We like went from 900, 800 something to like 850 to 910, I think, which is what I'm currently sitting at really fast. So holy shit. Thank you. Thank you guys. That, that really does mean a lot. And there's a lot of you guys that are, you know, they keep it interesting too. You guys comment a lot of cool stuff, like interesting stuff. And yeah, it's just fun interacting with you guys. But uh, yes, Rarity Collection 2. I don't want to, you know, delay too much here. It is new packaging for us. That's kind of interesting. And it should be... I was reading it. It's 18... 18, guys. 18 fucking... I, I like this, though. That's pretty dope. Let, let's keep this going, Konami, at least. Because th this is pretty nice. Like, this is so, so much better than the huge-ass boxes that we got. Um, anyway, so... I'll put it like this, actually. So, the... Uh, I was reading this, and it's nine cards per pack, which is up from five, I think, from Rated Collection 1, and then 18 packs per box. So the box is, uh, you don't get as much as many cards, and that's what people were not liking about the set. And, uh, I mean, you do get twice as many, you know, uh, high rarity cards, but I don't think that really makes up for it. Also, the cards in, that were included in here are pretty controversial. Guardian Chimera. Okay, super rare. I'll take that. Pretty good reprint, though. I will say that. Du uh, Pot of Duality. Ghost, Ogre, and Snow Rabbit. Let's see if we can kind of uh, put these... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to move this to the side because I think we, we're going to need a lot of room for these uh, different rarities here. Chaos Hunter. Masquerade. The Blazing Dragon. Ultra Rare. My Friend Purely. Uh, Silent Swordsman, Secret Rare. I feel like this card is a dud. Uh, Blue Eyes, Alternative White Dragon as a Secret Rare. I guess that's all right. It was a $15 card. Aluba, the Jester of, Des of Despia. I kind of agree with this um, to a certain degree, but we got no high rarity cards there. Oh, man. Let's see if the lighting can be improved here because I kind of don't like this. All right, there we go. I think that's... I, I think it's going to be... It's going to be the same, but that's as good as I can do. Super rare... Um, what's an anti-spell fragrance? Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Uh, Rescue Rabbit. More rabbits. More power. Gold Sarcophagus. Uh, Luber. A first high rarity. A uh, What's it called? A collector rare rescue cat. That is uh, pretty interesting. And then, ooh, wait, is this a high rarity? No, it's not. But I think we got something in the wings. So, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, uh, Secret Rare, Mind Control, and this is the new Platinum uh, Secret Rare. So you can tell that because it's it kind of looks like a Starlight, but it's more horizontal instead of being like kind of. I think it's it's like uh, horizontal and diagonal with the Starlights and the Quarter Century Rares. 
This one's more diagonal on with the with the uh, you know the <laughs> sparkles. I don't know, uh, and it doesn't have the stamp as well. So mind control. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I'll take it. Whatever. <laughs> Fusion deployment. So I was I was actually really excited for this set too, guys. Believe it or not, and then because uh, the stuff they actually put in the set made me not really that excited. So, I mean, we'll see if we can pull something kind of cool or so something that I think is cool, but there's not going to be a lot of cards that I think are actually that cool, if I'm going to be completely honest. Okay, Ultimate Rare uh, Twin Twisters. Nice, but yes, stuff like this, right, where Twin Twisters doesn't really see that much play. Why, why are we reprinting it? Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, same thing. Doesn't see play. Doesn't see much play. Why include it? Skill Drain. Uh, this is Desite. Desite. And then Peaceful Planet. Oh, there's one more. Peaceful Planet uh, Calarium. Uh, Secret Rare. The, the Secret Rares actually are pro probably one of my favorite rarities in this set. Which is kind of funny because the other rarities are supposed to be like, you know, uh, better. But, the, you know, you, you, can't, you can't go wrong with a tried and true Secret Rare. Especially when the ultis kind of look funky, you know? Although, actually, the pattern on the card, on the artwork itself, is actually pretty nice compared to the la the other ones from what I remember. So, that's pretty that's pretty dope. Um, all right. So, by the way, I'm not going to give two, like, all my opinions on this set. No, I already made a video. If you guys want to watch that, go ahead. Uh, but, you know, there's still stuff that people, rightfully so, are complaining about that I'm bringing up here. Purely pretty memory. Another Twins Twisters. Xyz Encore. And a, ooh, this looks nice. This is just a secret rare, guys, but this looks really, the foiling looks really nice on this. Uh, Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, and then a uh, secret rare, Unchained Soul of Rage, and a Primitive Planet, uh, Reich Phobia. So, so far, no QCR, and we pulled two higher rarity cards, but I feel like, so it's QC, oh, it's four, okay, yeah, we're just missing the QCR, we haven't pulled the QCR, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, although it's damaged, Konami, what are you doing, bro, what are you doing, you, you, can, you don't want to fuck up a set that's already seeing a lot of criticism, uh, please, please, uh, Mind Control, nice, yeah, so the, the, the artwork, um, foiling is actually a little bit improved, the, it has texture, and it's kind of, uh, it goes with the artwork, I don't remember this being the case in the uh, Rarity Collection 1, so hell yeah. Garura, I will take. Peaceful Planet. Droll and Lockbird, hell yeah. Ooh, let's go. As a, a, a ultimate. Uh, one of you guys, actually I have it right here. I'm really bad with names, but uh, one of you guys commented uh, in my community post that you pulled a, a, a QCR, two QCR Droll and Lockbirds. And let me, let me just, uh, it was Mr. Eric Moreno. Mr. Eric is very lucky indeed, because that's a pretty, well, it's probably the most expensive QCR currently. Rescue Rabbit, Secret Rare, and, ooh, first QCR, Psy Frame Lord, Omega. Not bad, honestly. I really do like the, uh, the Synchro uh, QCRs more than any other, uh, any other card type. But IP cool. I, th I think IP might be the most expensive QCR, uh, but I could be wrong. Um, Rescue Rabbit, Book of Moon, Alt Ultra Rare, Solemn Strike, Ultra Rare, Aluber, Ultra Rare, Pot of Duality, IP, Bike Form, Secret Rare, uh, Droll and Lockbird, Secret Rare. I will take this. So give me more Droll and Lockbirds, man. Silent Swordsman, Super rare. We got nothing in that pack. I wouldn't mind a, an Aluber higher rarity as well, just because uh, I feel like that's going to do good long term. Charge of the Light Brigade Super, Mystical Space Typhoon Ultra, TG Hyper Librarian Ultra. Ooh, I'm skipping stuff here. I was going to skip the Beaver uh, Ultimate. You know what? They, they are, I think they are doing a little bit better with the Altis, uh, the OCG style Altis, if you will, because the the, uh, the the artwork is... Yeah, I, I, I like these a little bit more. I think they did something different. I could be wrong. I might have to, like, you know, double check. But it looks different to me. Psy Frame Lord Omega Ultra. And we got a Prismat uh, Platinum Secret, I think. Preparation of Rights. 
This is probably my new favorite rarity, by the way. QCRs are, are nice and all, but this is so nice. This, like, this is so cool. It doesn't have the stamp as well, which it didn't really bother me too much, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I, I hope, because they can't keep putting QCRs in main sets forever, right? Because it's it literally, it's stamped with 25th anniversary, and it's not the 25th anniversary anymore. Uh, I hope they replace those with the Platinum uh, Secret Rares, at least. Okay, Abyss Dweller. Uh, it's kind of some of these are coming in damage though. It's unfortunate. As a uh, collector rare, nice, nice, nice. Uh, Bread eyes, dark drag you, and I hope I pull this as a QCR or a Planum secret. Ram the man. Uh, I actually pulled this. You guys should check out his uh, video on it. Uh, okay, a book of eclipse, a rescue cat, anti spell fragrance, QCR. Okay, kind of a dud in my opinion. Kind of. A, oh, I forgot. I want this in every rarity, actually. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon Secret Rare and Spirit Dragon. That was a pretty decent reprint, too, by the way. Crystal Wing uh, Synchro Dragon, it was pretty expensive. People were eyeing it, and it's kind of a replacement to, to Barone, kind of. You know, you still need to play into the Synchro archetype pretty heavy, but Crystal Wing Synchro as an Ultra, Rescue Cat as an Ultra, Forbidden Lands as an Ultra, Raikou right as an Ultra, weird, weird reprint. Pressure Planet writes off as a secret. Ghost Mourner and Moonlit. Moonlit and Chill, boys. Moonlit and Chill as a secret rare. Abomination's Prison. Ooh, flying everywhere. As a super, I don't think we pulled anything in that pack. So it kind of seems like every other pack you're going to get a, like a banger. So that's kind of nice. I think these retail for 9 bucks a pack. So, you know, you better be getting something. some good per pack. Exosisters Magnifica. Rescue Rabbits Collector Rare. That was, I think this one might have been my first Collector Rare that I pulled from King's Court. It just sucks that, you know, they're reprinting Collector Rares again. Um, there's so many other cards that they could, they could have, you know, reprinted as Collector Rare, but what are you going to do? Skill Drain Ultra, Anti-Spell, Fragrance, Secret. Oh, the, oh I was going to say this. It's not Borrow Borl the Savage Dragon. It's Borrow Land Dragon, which I'll still take as a Platinum... Secret rare. I, I don't know why. I, I was looking at the market and it looks like the Planum Secret Rares are pretty cheap compared to the QCRs. It's just like, what are you guys doing? This is such a this is a better foiling, dude. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing over there? Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon Super Rare. Weird reprints. Weird reprints. It's a good card. It's just uh didn't need a reprint, you know. My friend purely skill drain super a hey, red eyes dark dragon. It's it ain't no. I'm not beating Ram here with uh, with this ulti, but I will take it nonetheless. That looks nice. I'm glad you know I was iffy on, on the inclusion of dark dragon, but I'm glad they put it in because um, yeah, it's it, it was twenty bucks. You know, it's a really good card. It's an arc. It's a uh, a DM card, so might as well just reprint that one. I'll I'll go with that. Rescue Cat, Axis Code Talker, uh, Illusion of Chaos as an Ultra, Hope Harbinger as a Secret, Solemn Strike as a Secret. Oh, First Magician Souls as a Super Rare. So it's, it does seem like there's going to be cards in here that are going to be harder to pull, which makes sense because, uh, you know, it's Konami we're talking about here. Exocester Pack, Super Rare, Borland, Dragon, Super, DD Crow, uh, Ultra, TG Hyper Librarian, Ultra, Ultimate Slayer, Ultra, number 38, Ultimate. Hell yeah, let's go. Looks pretty nice, actually. Skullmeister Secret, weird reprint, in my opinion. Oh, ho, ho, beauty, Underworld Goddess of the Closed World, Platinum. This is probably one of my favorite waifus. Like, I, you know, I do give waifu addicts some grievance, which is much deserved. But, you know, there are some waifus, as I've said before, acceptable waifus. <laughs> and, and I like this, the artwork is pretty nice. I do like, I do like this waifu. But, uh, hell yeah, I will take that any day. All right, so we're winding down. We got uh, five more packs. Let's see. Red Eyes Dark Dragoon as a higher rarity, you know, like Platinum or QCR would be nice. TG Hyper Librarian as a Super, Skullmeister as an Ultra, Solemn Strike as an Ultra, Skullmeister as an Ulti, unfortunately. unfortunately. Uh, Droll and Lockbird Ultra. We got Abyss Dweller Secret Rare. Droll and Lockbird, hell yeah. Dude, this, this looks real nice as a Secret Rare. 
I don't know. Yeah, it's because of the colors. The Secret Rare makes the green and the orange pop a little bit more. You can't really tell on camera, but hell yeah. I would pick this up, guys, actually, as a Secret Rare. Uh, Foolish Burial. Super Rare. Okay. There's a lot of spells and traps in here as well, which, you know, higher rarity spells and traps usually don't do well. But we'll see how that goes. Solemn Judgment. Super. Rescue Rabbit. Uh, super. These Some of these stick together, unfortunately. It seems like the Collector Rare stick with the other cards, so be careful out there, boys. Chaos Hunter, uh, Q uh, not QCR, Collector Rare. Uh, Coral Dragon Ultra, Forbidden Lands Ultra, Super Nimble Mega Hamster Ultra, Silent Magician, uh, Secret Rare, Trishula Printed to Death, uh, Secret Rare, and a Fantastical Dragon Phantasma. So it looks like Phantasma is gonna be pretty hard to pull in here. Holy, Guardian Chimera as well, I think I only pulled one. Yikes. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. Ooh, super rare. It's kind of damaged, though. Look at that top. It seems like every Dragoon I keep pulling that's super rare keeps coming in damaged. Uh, Twin Twisters, Primitive Planet, Rykphobia, Garura. This is another card that I wouldn't mind in higher rarities as well, because I kind of like the artwork. It's also a good card. Uh, Drone Lockbird Ultra, Mind Control Ultra, Mind Control Secret. I kind of like that, by the way, where you can... You can get the same card in the different rarity in the same pack and, you know, like back-to-back. -back. Uh, oh, we got a... Oh, this is a uh, QCR, yes, because of the stamp. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. You know, this might actually be pretty decent on the market, so I'll, I'll take that. But other than, you know, more trying to profit, uh, not the greatest pull in my opinion. Anyways, let's see. Two more packs. Super Nimble Hamster. Cross out, dude, how short it is, cross out, does it? This is the first card I pulled. Jesus, super rare Magician Souls, hell yeah, I'll take that. Ultra rare any day. Another card that I wanted every in uh, higher rarities. Cosmic, Cyclone, Ultra, Rescue Cat, Collector Rare. Pot of Duality, Ultra, hell yeah. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Secret Rare. Not the rarity we want, but I will take as many of those as possible. A. Hey, you know, same pack, cross on designated. Now we have two secret rares. I'll take that as well. Last pack. Oh man, I don't. I wasn't keeping track to make to see if we pulled everything that we uh, were promised. But uh, let's see if we can do something crazy here. Exosister packs, ultra rare. Blue eyes, uh, Jetto Dragon, ultra rare. Emergency teleport, ultra. My friend, purely ultra. Oh, ah, uh, coral dragon. Platinum. Okay, okay. Polly, Secret, and the uh, Alternative Boy himself as a super. Oh, boy. So, I mean, you know what? Let's do a quick recap. I feel like this video ran a little bit longer than my usual videos, especially with how little we actually can get. Um, but, uh, yeah, I want to see how what, what the higher rarities we pulled at least are and the spreads because it should be more it should be about double the 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 amount of cards that you pull per rarity so this is a uh, co co uh, collector rare this is an ulti 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 platinum collector qcr uh collector ulti platinum platinum collector QCR, uh, Collector, Platinum, uh, QCR, a Platinum, col uh, Collector. So I feel like I didn't get all the QCRs then. I thought we were supposed to get double the QCRs, but uh, Rarity Collection 1 had three QCRs per box, from what I remember. And these are my QCRs right here. Nice. Um, and then collector rare should be four times two, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, this is an ulti, so it's not even a collector rare. Let's see. Yeah, so five collector rares. That is crazy. And thanks for sticking out all the way, boys. I just kind of want to make sure I, we pull everything. We got to keep Konami to, on, on, uh, on their toes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ultis. Okay, okay. And then one, two, three, four, five platinum. So it's definitely not double the pull rates unless I miss something. And let me know also your experience, guys, in the comments because I want to know. We want to we want to keep Konami on their toes because they cannot do 
sets like this where they reprint stuff people don't necessarily want. They promise certain things like double the pull rates and they don't deliver on it, right? So anyways, enter the giveaway if you do qualify and, uh, you know, read all the, uh, the, the qualifications and whatnot. Good luck on that. Thanks, guys, for the 900 subs to 1,000 soon. Catch you guys in the next one. All right, uh, so really quick, I actually kind of missed a pack in this opening. So <laughs> let's see what, what this pack in particular has. Mystical Space Typhoon, Solemn Strike, Crystal Wing Synchro. There's a Collector Rare, Dugaris, The Timeless, Underworld Goddess Ultra, Psychic and Ultra. A hey, QCR, Bingo Machine, Go, Go. So there's our QCR. And then a Twin Twister. Holy shit, guys, check. Make sure you guys check every single box you open because holy shit, that, I would have thrown out a collector rare and a QCR. Boy.